Uh, in this video lecture, we'll be starting with the covalent motion in cylindrical components. So uh, there are certain uh, times when it becomes much easier for us to represent a curve in terms of its uh, polar coordinates or r and theta. So let us say that uh, now whenever we are studying curvilinear motion, the one thing that we need to study is how, how that particle is moving around that curve and what are the uh, velocity, displacement and acceleration of that particular particle along the curve. So for that the first thing that we always define is the position for that particle along the curve. So let the position of the particle be defined by a polar coordinate system. Let r be the radial distance which varies with respect to time measured from point O. So there is this one fixed point and from this point we take our radial uh, vector uh, which is defining the position of this. Now this is not the only thing that defines the position because when this particle moves r is r alone is not sufficient to define its movement. We also need theta, where theta is the angle measured with a fixed reference axis. So this is a fixed reference axis about which the theta is being measured. So both r and theta can uh, give you the exact position of this particular particle along the curve. Now when we talk about if, if I want to represent my r in terms of vector format then I need to first of all define my unit vector. So let ur be the unit vector along when this theta is fixed we are fixing this theta and let us say that we allow this r to increase or decrease along its along along the radial direction. So this r can go like this or it can come like this. So what, what it will mean is that this ur is always going to be along the radial direction the position of the ur would be fixed when theta is fixed okay and let u theta be the unit vector along the increasing theta value by keeping r as fixed so for defining u theta we keep our r as fixed and then if r becomes fixed and now if i try to increase my theta then what will happen it will be like a circle circle of radius r and at this position of this particle the theta, the unit vector has to be given as a tangent to that circle, right? So when we keep the r, r as fixed and in the increasing direction of theta, the u theta will always be perpendicular to your u r. Now this can also be proven mathematically. For this we will take uh, help of uh, our uh, Cartesian coordinate unit vector that is i and j. So let us say that there is this Cartesian coordinate system here at this point itself. And along the x-axis and y-axis, let's say, along the x we have our i unit vector and let us say if this is theta here, then this would be theta, right? This would be theta and this would be theta, right? And if this is i, this would be j unit vector. So if I want to define ur in terms of i and j and u theta in terms of i and j, I should write ur as cos theta i cap plus uh, sin theta j cap right and u theta would be written as sin theta minus sin theta i cap because since it's uh, negative and plus cos theta j cap right so if i take the dot product of the two vectors and if it comes out to be zero then it means that the two vectors are orthogonal to each other so when we take the dot product u r dot uh, u theta we will get uh, cos theta minus cos theta sin theta plus cos theta sin theta which is equal to 0. So this also mathematically it implies that u theta and u r are always perpendicular to each other. Now let us define the position vector. Now for defining the position vector what we do is that we keep this theta as fixed and for this theta we will define what is the position of this particle it means then the particle position will only depend on the fluctuation of the r whether the r increases 
or r decreases and that would be given as r dot u r means the position of the uh, particle at an angle theta uh, at an angle fixed angle theta and along the radial direction with with the unit vector of u r the velocity would be given as uh, the time derivative of your position vector which is dr by dt here r and u r both are time de uh, dependent both are time dependent because this r if theta is changed then the r is going to change and also u r will be changed right because if for an angle d theta let us say if the new position of the r is this and the position of the particle is here then you see that this u r is always along the radial direction so it is the u r would become like this now the direction of the u r has changed right so we can say that r both r and u r both are time dependent or both are functions of time so when we take the derivative here we will have to apply the product rule that is dr by dt u r plus d u r by dt into r right now we know this dr by dt which is just the position uh, or the time derivative of the displacement that is going to be your radial velocity directly this is going to be your radial velocity multiplied by the unit vector u r we need to ascertain what this quantity is that is d u r by d t d u r if you see d u r is going to be the change in your uh, unit vector along the radial direction so change in this u r is going to be your d u r so first of all let us define what is that change and when that change will occur that change is going to occur when your theta changes from theta plus d theta right so if you remember this position vector we had defined for theta for a particular value fixed value of theta now when in, in, in a increase in time dt the theta is going to change to d theta plus d theta right or it is going to change by a value of d theta right so let us see what how to capture that change so let us say that uh, in time dt u r changes to u r dash where u r dash is u r plus d u r we'll show it diagrammatically now when this u r will become u r dash will it become u r dash when r changes let us suppose that if r changes if if the value of the r changes from uh, if the particle comes from this position to this position or if it goes to this position means it is changing if it is changing along the radial direction only will the u r change will the direction of the u r change the magnitude of the u r is always going to remain one because it's a unit vector what we are concerned is basically with the direction of the u r will the direction of u r change if the particle only fluctuates along the radial direction the answer is no right the direction of the u r cannot change if the particle fluctuates only along the radial direction so the direction of of u r will only change when theta is changed by an angle of d theta or when theta increases or decreases by d theta only in that case the u r is going to change its direction right so if theta changes by d theta u r changes to u r dash and a change in r if this r changes by dr let us say r plus dr then there is no change in u r so let us say that uh, the theta has changed by an angle of d theta and now this is the new position of the r for this new position of the r we will be having a unit vector along that radial direction u r dash and we will also have a u theta dash because at this point obviously the u theta dash and u r dash both needs to be perpendicular right now what is this dur in vector diagram if i bring this ur dash if i bring the tail of this ur and connect it here i will be forming a triangle let us just magnify the triangle here so this is ur this is ur dash both would be separated by an angle of d theta and dur is the uh, this, uh, it is it is how much by how much that ur is changing to become ur dash so in vector format it can be written as ur plus dur the direction of this d u r you can see it is along the u theta right it is along the u theta so the direction of d u r is defined by unit vector u theta 
again we can also prove this mathematically so if uh, if i again for this we need we take the help of uh, our cartesian coordinate and the i and j vectors so if this is your i unit vector and this is your j unit vector then u r what we had written previously u r is cos theta i cap plus uh, sin theta j cap right and u theta is minus sin theta i cap plus cos theta j cap now the if i differentiate this with respect to time so what i'll get is dur by dt is equal to theta is also a time dependent uh, entity here so that will also have its derivative the derivative of cos theta is minus sin theta into d theta by dt minus sin theta i cap b theta by dt plus now of course i cap is not going to have any uh, derivative because that is a fixed parameter right it does not change with respect to time it's a it behaves like a constant and derivative of sin theta is cos theta j cap d theta by dt if i take d theta by dt outside dur by dt is d theta by dt minus sin theta i cap plus cos theta j cap which is nothing but your u theta so from this we can understand that this term dur by dt is finally going to be d theta by dt into u theta right but what we need to uh, just take into consideration here is that the direction of dur by dt is defined by the direction of u uh, the unit vector of u theta now dur can be also written as ur into d theta if i take this as a small arc then i can write and ur is has the magnitude of 1 so i can say dur is d theta and uh, i am also defining it with its directional unit vector which is, which is u theta if i take the time derivative here now it is as we all saw that dur by dt is d theta by dt multiplied by u theta this is what we saw mathematically also just now so this is what we'll get u th uh, theta dot u theta the theta dot is the way how we represent the time derivative of particular quantity now since we have got now dur by dt is equal to theta dot u theta i can substitute that here and uh, i will get v as now this vr i can write as r dot because it is dr by dt the time derivative of your r so this vr i have written as r dot ur plus r theta dot u theta now we, what is your r dot and what is r theta dot r dot is your vr that we all know and r theta dot this is nothing but your v theta so finally this equation can be written as v r u r plus v theta u theta okay and the total magnitude of this is under root of v r square plus v theta square now see here you are getting v r and v theta this should not be confused with the normal and tangential component because the velocity is not going to have a normal component it only has a tangential component right so when we resolve them into its tangent and normal component that is uh, where we will understand that the normal component is not there and the velocity is only having the tangential component let us see that also so we need to keep in mind that vr is not the normal component so this is the direction of the vr that is there and this is the direction of v theta which is there so neither is v theta your tangential component nor is vr your normal component let us say this is the tangential direction and this is the normal direction and uh, uh, let us say 
the your tangent is making alpha with respect to your x and y axis so alpha is nothing but the slope at the point where the particle is there okay the angle theta at which vr and v theta will become normal and tangential components respectively see right now this is your vr and this is your v theta what i need to determine here is that at what angle of theta means as the time increases since your theta is increasing or decreasing i want to know that at what angle of theta my vr is going to coincide with this normal direction and v theta is going to coincide with this tangential direction such that this v theta becomes your tangential velocity and this vr at that instant it is going to become zero because along the normal direction there is no component of the velocity so that is what i am trying to find what i will get is theta when theta is equal to 90 minus theta that is the angle where your u theta coincides with your tangential direction and u r coincides with your normal direction see for that also how we found that theta should be 90 minus alpha this is your angle theta right theta is the angle that u r is making with respect to your x axis theta is the angle that u r is making with respect to your x axis how much angle this theta should be that this u r coincides with normal direction so this angle total is 90 minus alpha because this angle is alpha and this is 90 degrees so this angle is 90 minus alpha when theta becomes equal to 90 minus alpha that is the point where your u r coincides with your normal direction and u theta coincides with the tangential direction okay and that is the point at this point u theta will be equal to uh or rather i should write as v theta will be equal to tangential velocity and v r will be equal to 0 all right after the velocity let us come to acceleration so uh, we have uh, v is r dot u r plus r theta dot u theta this is what we just found now to get acceleration i need to differentiate this equation here what we see is that all of the components are your dependent on time they are function of time so when we are taking the differentiation we need to apply the product rule and here you see there are three products i mean three terms in between you will have to apply the product rule so how to apply the product rule in three terms let's say d by dx of uh, a into b into c where all are uh, dependent on uh, your x function let us say just for example so what i will do i will first take ab into c the pro product rule between ab and c so it is d by dx of ab plus d by dx of c okay and here again we'll have to apply the product rule d by dx of ab so it is c into a d by dx of b plus b into d by dx of a okay plus ab dc by dx so finally see what we'll get ac d by db by dx plus bc da by dx plus ab dc by dx okay i'll just rearrange this term so it is ab dc by dx plus ac db by dx plus bc da by dx this is how we'll get the product rule for three terms right same we'll have to apply here as well let us keep this as a reference so ab c dot i'll write ab as c dot plus 
ए सी बी डॉट और लेट एस राइट इट प्रॉपरली ए बी सी डॉट प्लस ए बी डॉट सी प्लस ए डॉट बी सी ओके सो फर्स्ट डेरिवेटिव योर इज आर डॉट डी यू आर बाई डी टी प्लस यू आर इन टू आर डबल डॉट दैट इज ए यू डेरेवेटिव ऑफ वी प्लस वी डेरेवेटिव ऑफ यू एंड यर एज वी ऑल कैन सी दिस फॉर्म विल टेक प्लेस राइट सो इफ दिस इज ए बी एंड सी वी कैन सी दैट ए बी इंटू डी बाई डी टी ऑफ सी प्लस ए बी डॉट सी प्लस ए डॉट बी सी दिस इज वॉट इज बेसिकली द फ्रेम वर्क सो इफ यू सी इन दिस इक्वेशन वी हैव द वैल्यू ऑफ डी यू आर बाई डी टी वी हैड फाउंड प्रीवियसली वॉट इज ओनली अन नोन इन दिस इक्वेशन इज डी यू थीटा बाई डी टी वॉट इज दिस क्वान्टिटी इक्वल टू राइट सो लेट इज चेक दैट एंड डी यू थीटा वुड बी द डिफरेंस इन द थीटा राइट सो वेन वेन दिस यू थीटा बिकम्स यू थीटा डैश द डिफरेंस इन बिटवीन दैम फ्रॉम यू थीटा टू यू थीटा डैश इज नथिंग बट यूर डी यू थीटा सो लेट let us say that in time dt when theta changes with uh, by an angle of d theta u theta becomes u theta dash so in the vector format and in this diagram if i bring u theta to this point it would form a triangle and this is your du theta du theta if you see it has a direction in the negative direction of ur right let us let us also prove it mathematically so u r was cos theta i cap plus uh, sin theta j cap and u theta was minus sin theta i cap plus cos theta j cap so if i take the time derivative of u theta it will be du theta by dt which is equal to minus cos theta i cap into d theta by dt Plus sine theta uh, minus sine theta j cap d theta by dt. So if I take d theta by dt common, or if I take minus d theta by dt common, inside we'll be left with cos theta i cap plus sine theta j cap, which is nothing but your u r. So here I'll get d theta by dt into a negative u r. right because you can see the direction of d theta du theta sorry is reverse to the direction of this ur right therefore this negative is coming so from this diagram what i can say is that du theta i can write as u theta into d theta and then i'll multiply it by its directional unit vector which is minus ur so it becomes minus u theta d theta into ur u theta has a magnitude of 1 so it will be du theta will be minus d theta into ur when we take the derivative with respect to time we'll get du theta is minus d theta by dt into ur which is what we were getting in that mathematical expression as well right as minus theta dot into ur so when we put this du theta by dt in this equation here the final acceleration that we'll be getting is and of course du r by dt we know it is theta dot into u theta right so we'll get r dot theta dot u theta plus u r r double dot minus r theta dot into theta dot into u r plus r theta double dot u theta plus r dot theta dot u theta a big expression but we need to simplify this so what we can do is we can bring all the u r terms uh, on one side and all u theta terms on the other side so what we'll get is r double dot minus r theta dot square u r Plus two r dot theta dot plus r theta double dot u theta. So this is your final expression for acceleration, and this term is your a r, and this term is a theta, and final magnitude of the acceleration is under root of a r square plus a theta square. Next, we'll be solving certain numericals related to cylindrical components. Please check the next video.